Hey what's up guys, I'm back here with the list of new android apps which I think you should try. I'm not saying all these apps are must haves, it's just that I find these apps quite useful amongst the new lot. So without any further ado, let's get started. Starting off with clipboard actions. This app is a great way to enhance your clipboard functionality. That is, it analyzes what you've copied and gives you options accordingly. Say for example, I copy your phone number. I get a notification from the app giving me options like call, add to contact and so on. Similarly with the web links, I can choose to open the link or shorten it and you can also perform search, navigate, translate or create a QR code from the copied text. From the app, you can change notification behaviors and actions. So a great app for your clipboard. Next up, Chroma Keyboard. This is a custom keyboard app which I feel is very stylish and comes with some unique features. First, I'd like to talk about adapting colors. This keyboard automatically adapts the colors of the app you're using. For example, if I'm using Facebook, the keyboard will turn blue. And similarly, it's red on YouTube and so on. From the app, you can choose languages and other options for your keyboard like night mode, adding numbers, rows, gesture typing, etc. So a stylish app to customize your keyboard. Next on our list is Stories. This app brings an all new way of experiencing 360 videos. The video interacts with your movement and shows accordingly. For example, on buggy night, when you look at the bugs, they are altered and they start running. Similarly, actions take place only when you look at things, which makes it more natural. For now, only a few stories are available, but we're sure more is coming soon and it's going to change the way we experience videos. Next up, Guides. A great app from Lonely Planet for exploring cities. Here you have a list of famous cities. I can search for other cities from here and download the city guide. Once the guide is downloaded, you can use the guide even if you're offline, which I think is a nifty feature. And from this guide, you can explore where to eat, sleep, shop and so on. You can tap on the map to navigate and slide below to see other interests. A great app for travelers. Next up, it's Portal. Nope, it's not a game. Portal is the easiest way to share files between your computer and your phone. All you have to do is go to portal.pushbullet.com and scan the QR code from the app. Then you can drag and drop any files or folders. And another cool thing is it automatically analyzes media file types and organizes them accordingly. So a handy app to wirelessly transfer files and use your phone as an external storage. Next on our list is NPass. NPass is an app to store sensitive information on your device. Here you have all your items. You can tap here to add new info like login details, credit card infos, license infos, passwords, secure notes, etc. And while adding login details, you can also add URLs to directly log in to that website. Talking about automatic logins, you also get a built-in secure browser with this app. You get a slider menu to browse your favorites, folders and view groups accordingly. You can also add your cloud accounts for syncing. Another handy feature is you also get a password generator to help you with your passwords. So a great app for storing your personal and sensitive information. Next up, Solid Explorer. This is a minimal file explorer. It comes with all the necessary tools for your file management. Here we have all your files and folders. You can perform a search, change views and filter from here. And tapping and holding on any folder icon will give you these options. You get a slider menu for bookmarks, a different file types and you also get options for hidden files and folders. You can also add your cloud accounts and manage them. From settings, you can also choose themes and colors. 
and you have different options for the file list, security and root access. All in all, a great app for file management. Next up, Issue. This is the best app to explore magazines on your phone. Here you have all the trending topics. I can tap on any topic to explore magazines related to that topic. And while reading any magazine, you have similar publications below and have infos about the author and options like adding it to your stack or flagging it. You also get a snipping tool which is very helpful in my opinion. From the slider menu, you have options to view your activity or your stack. So a great app to read magazines. Next up, we've got Mikopi. This is a great app to personalize your contact pictures. It's always so hectic to set a picture for individual contacts or you just have to live with the boring contact info with no pictures at all. So with this app, you can assign cool pictures to your contacts. You can either choose a single contact and choose the pictures individually or select automatic mode to generate pictures for all your contacts. And as you can see, we get a cool picture with the first letter highlighted. You can choose different backgrounds or tap here to save it. Last but definitely not the least is Polygon. This is a great app for customizing the look and feel of your device. Mostly like the all-in-one kind of app where you get different icons and wallpapers with a single app. All these icons are pretty much compatible with almost all the launchers. Simply select launcher you're using and you're good to go. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you found this video useful and as always thanks for watching.